Sometimes some components need to load data to appear and we can say that they are asynchronous components. And what you want to do while this component is loading the data is to show some kind of loading state. And in React, we've got a component that can help us to do that. This component is called Suspense, okay? Suspense, it's a component provided by React that allows you to render component depending on asynchronous operation. And to use Suspense, we are going to use another function from React called Lazy that helps us to load component inside the page. So here we got our home page. But basically, when we're gonna import this, component with lazy, it's going to tell, hey, this component is not a component synchronously uh, loaded on the page. We want to load it asynchronously. Okay, so here I got a, a lazy component here that doesn't do anything. It's an empty component. It's not even asynchronous yet. It doesn't do any operation, but we assume that this component will do some asynchronous operation later. And back here in home, I want to import this component inside here, inside my portfolio. So in order to do so, what I want to do is to import a lazy component. So what you would do if, you, if it was a synchronous um, uh, component, you would import it this way, okay? I would load my lazy component this way. So here it's synchronous. We assume that we import the component immediately and we don't wait for anything. That's not what we want to do in this case. What we want to do is to import it with lazy. So what I'm going to write is const lazy component is equal to react.lazy, okay? Lazy here is a function that waits for a callback. And this callback is going to be the import callback of the component. So now here, uh, uh, React understands that we are waiting basically uh, for this component to appear. And we can look at the definition, lets you defer loading a component's code until it is rendered for the first time. All right, so what I wanna do here is to put my lazy component import, and there we go. Now I can now render my component inside my DOM. And here we've got a very nice error. It's a temporary error. It's not going to happen again after. A component suspended while responding to synchronous input. This will cause the UI uh, to be replaced by a loading indicator. To fix that, you should be wrapped with start transition, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so if I update, there is no, not the error again, but it's still an error. And to fix that, we need to use suspense. So here, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to import suspense from React. Okay, so I got Suspense from React and Suspense, it's a component exactly like the provider component we saw before. And Suspense is receiving children. So I can put the component that I want asynchronous to be here. There we go. So now we're not going to have the error anymore. When it's going to be on lazy loading, it's going to pass first by Suspense. So this is how you use React Suspense. The basic usage is this one. You wrap your component that needs to wait for asynchronous data inside a Suspense component. And then you can use what we call the fallback. So while the component is going to be loaded, you can show a skeleton or whatever. So I'm going to type fallback and fallback is waiting here for a component. So I can just put a div for now. And here um, I'm going to put, uh, um, uh, I'm going to put loading. Okay, loading, there we go. All right, there we go. Okay, so as long as this component didn't uh, load the data as long as the um, await async await didn't um, perform, we are going to show loading. Okay, so I got this lazy component, which is here, very, very simple, okay? Um, I need to do some changes because right now, here we can see that there is the loading appearing really fast. What I would like to do is that this component performs some action and then later here, when we import our lazy component, the suspense, use the fallback to show the loading while the operation is going to appear up here. Okay, so I'm going to import React at first. And what I want to do is to await for some promise. So let's say that I'm going to have const data would be await, okay, 
um, for uh, some new promise I'm going to use promise like this and I'm going to resolve and here I'm I don't do any call okay I'm not going to call um, any API you can do it I'm just going to make a fake one with set timeout okay and I'm going to wait for the timeout that will be basically three seconds and I'm going to pass here resolve instead of a function okay so we've got our data that is up here and then we are going to retrieve this so if i update again we can see that we got the loading and suddenly we've got the lazy component uh, uh, appearing so i'm going to update again loading so while data is going to await to resolve the promise which is up here we have suspense that using the fallback component which comes from here so if i try to do it again i'm going to upload there we go we've got loading appearing here we saw that with react suspense we can basically import asynchronous component on the server side because here those two components are on server side we are going to have a listen about react server later but here we can see that we are waiting from a promise and while we wait we can use a suspense to render another loading component which is here you can use suspense as much time as you want however be safe um, do not overuse react lazy for performance uh, questions it can trigger a lot of browser errors a lot of browser mismatch and you want to avoid that